Recording in progress. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Sing Bart. So whether you are joining us in live on this uh, morning, that we welcome the rain back, or are you joining us from home um, on Zoom? Uh, this morning, we are also uh, experimenting something new. We are also uh, live casting the service on our parish Facebook page, just in case people who already like our Facebook, they, they will see it on, on the home feeds that we are doing a live cast of this service, um, just to increase uh, accessibility of our service to those who are not able to join us in person. Uh, we are having a service of the word this morning. Um, so remember, Communion Sunday is the first, sec second, and fourth. This being the fifth Sunday of the month, we are having a service of the word. Um, regrets from Bishop Dixie and the Reverend Juliet. Um, they, they wish to be with us in person, but unfortunately, their household is in self-isolation uh, this week. So we, we hold their family in our prayers. But uh, the Reverend Juliet will be joining us um, from her home as our preacher this morning. So welcome, welcome everyone. So let us just take a deep breath and pray for the Holy Spirit to fill us and fill the bandwave of the Wi-Fi and internet so, so that both technology and everything is running smoothly this morning. We are grateful for all of you to be here uh, praising God with us. And we will listen and watch the, the, the prelude from Vowed. It may be, if you, if you click on it, if you click on that little thing, does it work? Okay, I guess our prayer didn't work. Let's move on to the greeting page. <clears throat> the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor and release to the captives. Friends, our opening hymn is The Love of Jesus Calls Us, hymn 434. Okay. Um, let, let's sit down for a bit. Let's sit down for a bit. Uh, maybe we will stop share and share again and make sure the share sound and share um, optimized video is click. Okay, it's an a cappella Sunday. <laughs> let, let, let us stand. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's because of that, but but <laughs> Okay. 
The love of Jesus calls us our <coughs> joyous <coughs> praise to praise say. Out deeply felt thanksgiving, we now together sing. For all For God's all many God's blessings, unless you still receive. And for and the for generations generation. who faithfully believe, <coughs> the love and of Jesus calls us that we may always be companions on a journey where all the world may see. That serving that Christ is freedom, which time does not destroy. Where Christ's command is duty, and every duty joy. The love of Jesus calls us to go where he would go to challenge all that limits, to change, to learn, to grow, to know that Christ has freed us, that prisons are no more. For those who seek his kingdom, Christ opens every door. The love of Jesus calls us in swiftly changing days to be God's co-creators in new and wondrous ways that God with men and women could so transform the earth that love and peace and justice may give God's kingdom birth. In this time and place we gathered on the unceded ancestral lands of the Skarmish and Sea Shark nations. From many places and peoples, we come to this house of prayer. In this time and place, we give thanks for the light of God that shines in the darkness, a light no darkness can quench. In this time and place, we give thanks for the light and peace of Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, the light of all people. In this time and place, we pray that the Spirit of God will be renewed in our hearts and minds, that we might be the light of God in the world, in this time and place, together, one people of God, in the name of God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God of the nations, to you be glory and praise forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praises in all the world. Blessed be God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Please be seated as we listen to the proclamations of God's word. First lesson from Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 to 10. A reading from Jeremiah. Now the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, oh, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, do not say, 
I am only a boy. For you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I point you over nations and over kingdoms, to pluck up and pull down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks. Please read the, the bolded lines responsively. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rest me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust. O Lord, from my youth, upon you I have learned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today's second lesson is from the first letter to the Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful, or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The 
friends, um, the gradual hymn is okay. We have the gradual hymn. Should I rehearse? Should I rehearse with human voice? Should I rehearse with human voice the words which angels make their choice? Devoid of love, my songs resounds magnificent but empty. And should I preach with earnest tune and no whatever can? And move the hills by faith alone. If I lack love, I'm nothing. In love is patience always found. For love, kind hearts make common ground. From love, conceit and pride take flight, and jealousy is banished. Love keeps no scores of what goes wrong, nor sings a pessimistic song, nor lets regrets or guilt prolong. For love expects tomorrow. Let strange and startling language cease. Let tongues that a sea release. Let knowledge come and go in peace. These things are not eternal. For and skill we show about the stage to which we grow till face to face with God we know that love which lasts forever The Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus according to Luke. Glory to God. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled with your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is this not Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote me this proverb. Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, do here also in your hometown the things that we have heard you do, did at Capernaum. And he said, truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Eliah, when the heaven was shut up for three years and six months, and there was a severe famine all over the land. 
Yet Eliah was sent to none of them except to a wid widow at Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elijah, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman, the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got, him, got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. The Gospel of Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm going to share uh, the Reverend Je uh, Julius Streen. So just bear with me for one second. Okay, Juliet, you are on. <laughs> oh. In our family, which, which uh, runs like this, day, day by day, day by day, oh, dear Lord, three things we pray, to see you more clearly, love you more dearly, follow you more nearly. Day by day, day by day, and you can repeat it over and over. But this is a prayer, and we pray that in the midst of our defeated uh, panic, worries, or being busy, may we see Jesus clearly and not miss him pass by. We pray that we, we saw that him we during saw him the Epiphany day, day as the light as of the, the light whole, of world, world, whole world, a light to the a Gentiles, light to Gentiles, not only, not only the light for the, the, light Jewish, for the nations. Jewish nations. May we have May seen, we have seen Jesus, Jesus is the beloved son, son during his during baptism, baptism sent, sent by the only, by the, only, the, by the Father. We pray that we, we have, that seen, we have Jesus seen Jesus as the source as of the, the good, source wine. Of good wine. And this good, and wine, this good wine, wine points, points to, his to his blood, which was shed which for all of us. And we pray that we have seen him as the one who was, one sent, who was with sent with a mission. Last, Last Sunday, Sunday, we have heard, we have heard his mission his statement. statement or his or uh, political, uh, political uh, platform, platform. And, we and we heard that he came, that he to, came to bring good news, bring to, the news poor, to the poor, to proclaim, to proclaim release, release to the captives, the captives and recover the sights of, of the blind, and to let the oppressed go free, and to, free, and to proclaim, and proclaim the, Lord's, the, Lord's, the year of the, the, Lord's, year of the favor. Lord's favor. That is, that his, is mission his mission statement. statement. And, today, and today, it starts with it the, starts ending the ending of last Sunday's, of Sunday's gospel, gospel, which says, which says today, today this scripture, this scripture has, been has been fulfilled in your hearing. In your hearing. A, wonderful A wonderful statement. statement. First, before we will First, go into the gospel, into let's the gospel. Look into, look who, into who Luke is, is so that we understand, so that we understand why Luke's gospel shares this one. Because this is something this peculiar, is something to, look. peculiar to look. Look for, look for, uh, for one, uh, or, one the or the most of it, was not, was a, not Jew. a Jew. He was a he Gentile. Was a he was a Greek. He, was a Greek. he did not belong. He did not belong. As he, was As he was a marginalized, a marginalized person, person during those days. During those days. But, he was, but he was a physician. A physician. That's, why That's why the word that he, the that phrase he, that, he, that, he, used, that doctor, he used, doctor, 
cure yourself, that is something peculiar to, to look. We cannot find it in other Gospels or New Testament books. And also he was a historian. Okay, this, this two characteristics of Luke made him an important part of the company of Paul during the travel of Paul. So he was a significant companion of Paul in his travels. And that is how he knew Jesus. That's how he learned and he came to love Jesus and followed him so nearly up to the end. He was martyred also. Now, the, the gospel of Luke then is so peculiar that it is very strong in universalism. Let's look at the genealogy. Let's compare it with, the, with Mark's genealogy. Mark's genealogy traced back up to Abraham. If you can go back, we trace back the genealogy of Jesus back to Abraham. Who is Abraham? Abraham is the father of the Jewish nation. Is that how Luke traced back the genealogy of Jesus? No, he went further. Trace back the genealogy of Jesus to Eve to Adam. Adam, who is Adam, he is the father of humanity. One is the father of the Jewish nation. Adam is the father of humanity. Why does Luke do this? Do this so that from the beginning he includes himself as. Part of, part of the world the that world received that the love, the love of, God. of God, not only not the, Jewish, only the Jewish, people. Jewish people. That and we can that see it all, all throughout the gospel, the gospel of Luke, of Luke being, being universal that universal God, God loves the world, world, that He world, sent that His Son to the whole the world. world, and Luke. And the Gospel of Luke has unparalleled concern in matters related to the marginalized. And who were the marginalized during the Old Testament times? The women, the children, the poor, the sick, particularly the lepers. Oh, these were outcasts. The prostitutes, of course, the sinners and the Gentiles. They were all pushed. Push push, 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 push into the margin, into the, into the margin, borders, the borders of the Jewish the tradition, tradition and laws. And laws. Now, now the, this is yeah, Luke this is trying Luke to trying open, open, open the open eyes of the, the eyes readers. Of the, readers. The, target the target readers of Luke, by the way, Luke are the, the, the non-Jews, non those outside those the borders outside of the, borders the Jewish, Jewish tradition, tradition, tradition and Jewish laws. Jewish laws. Today's gospel, as I have said, is a continuation of last Sundays when Jesus says that this is the fulfillment. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And what is that the state, the statement, the mission statement that we have, we have heard last Sunday? Jesus, Jesus is proclaiming is that proclaiming he is the, he Messiah, is the Messiah, not only, not only of, the Jews, of the Jews, to the Jews, to the Jews but to the whole but world, the whole particularly, world particularly, particularly to those who, to those are, in who are in need. And during those and times, those who are in need are, are the marginalized, are the, marginalized. The, women, the women, as we have said, the poor, the sick, especially the lepers. Jesus here Jesus is here proclaiming, proclaiming that the love, that of, the God love of God extends, extends even outside, outside the, borders the borders that is set by, by human beings. Human beings. Jesus, points Jesus points to himself, to himself as the fulfillment, as the fulfillment of, the of the prophecy and as the one, as the one who offers who salvation, offers salvation to, all. to all. It's God's redemptive it's God's work. Redemptive through Jesus, through Jesus and his mission, and his mission statement, statement with special, with special attention, attention given to the marginalized. To the marginalized. 
And we have seen the response, seen the response of the people. Of the people. Oh, oh, they were jealous. They were so angry. When, when they heard what, they heard Jesus, what did Jesus did outside, outside Nazareth. Nazareth, he healed the sick, he, healed the sick. he made, the, he made the, the lame walk, he made the blind made see. The blind see. We heard those we miracles, heard those and, miracles. Here, and here he comes, he comes in his own, in his hometown. own hometown, and he stated and he stated his mission, statement, mission statement, which are which are especially last one, one when he said one, that, he said uh, that uh, 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 to proclaim, to the, proclaim year the year of the Lord's favor. Oh, they liked oh, that they because, liked they, that were, because they, were, they were they were hoping, hoping that. That, that will be that will be implemented or or that will be done to them. But the, 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 the Lord, the year of the Lord's favor, be applied to them and them only. But then they knew from the words of Jesus that it was not solely for them. In fact, it was not for them. But it's but. For, for those who those were outside their borders, their and borders. so they and were so jealous. jealous. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Jesus even said Jesus that, even that, said no, that prophet no prophet is accepted, is accepted in the prophet's in the prophet old hometown. hometown. In the Old Testament, the Old Testament we, we learned that a prophet, that as we have seen in the, the Old the Testament reading, is one who will proclaim the will, the will of, God. of God. God puts the words into the mouth of the prophet. He is not to say what he sees in his heart, but the words for the will of God alone. And that is the mission of the prophets in the Old Testament. And what is, and the, what is the what is the will of God? Will of as God, we have seen, have seen in Sika, 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 six, Sika, chapter six, Sika, verse eight, eight, we see there we that see the will of God will is to do for us to do justice, us, justice, to love kindness, kindness, and to walk and humbly to walk with humbly God. God. Obedience, Obedience to the will to of the God. Will of that is the main trust of the will of God put into the mouth of the prophet. Obedience. From the beginning, when human sinned, God sent God's instruments to proclaim and tell people to obey God. Obedience. And this is not pleasant to the hearing of the of the, of the Jews, Obe obedience, obedience to God, they could, they could hardly they could listen, to it. listen to it. So people, so people were so disobedient. So, disobedient. so when prophets so when came, came to proclaim to obedience, proclaim obedience they, they killed these prophets. prophets. They had been killing been a lot of them. And that is and what they were trying to do to, to Elijah. That's why they had to flee to save his own save life, his own but because life. they wanted, they wanted to, kill to kill him because he was because proclaiming something that something is not pleasant to the, to the, to the ears of the, ears the Jews. Of the Jews. The Jews. The and stoning to death was a common way of killing these prophets. And that is what they were thinking when they when they led Jesus the last sentence of our gospel, they got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which the town was built, so that they might hurl him off on the cliff. The, the last the, part of the that is, that and, is and, and, uh, and they will they throw stones stone to, him to him until he dies, dying through dying stoning. Through that's stoning. That's, that's the common way of killing prophets during, during those times. Those times. But, Jesus, but Jesus, Jesus could not Jesus say to them that this is not this is the not way. I'm not going to die your way. I'm going to die my way. So. So he just he passed just by passed in the midst of him and, and went on, his, on way. his way. Now, now let's get back let's to, get the, back to the, uh, uh, the, 
concern of the marginalized, the mention of the widow and uh, and Naaman, who were in the gospel, who were favored by God, enraged so much these people, who were enjoying in the beginning the words of Jesus. And they were enraged. They were so absorbed with themselves, with their laws, with written and oral, with their boundaries. They set their own boundaries. A woman outside our boundary, a non-Jew, received a favor from Elijah, received the love of God from Elijah, and Naaman, Naaman was their was their enemy for one he was a gentile and he was leprous he was an outcast old triple double triple uh ways to hate him hated these people and yet these people receive the love of god through the prophet women during those times were second class citizens as we see, As we even, see in even in the New Testament, we see, we see if we read if that, we read that uh, women, uh, were, women were, were not were allowed, uh, allowed to learn. To learn. Women, were women were not allowed to allowed sit to at the foot of the pictures and, and learn from them. The they were only they were for, only the for the kitchen. It was so it was unfair so during the time. And, uh, and uh, a lot of the, a lot, a lot the, in the gospel of, the gospel of to, to restore to the dignity of women, of women. He, used he, lot, used he used a lot, of, used women a lot of women in his stories. In his stories. It is only it is in the only gospel in the of Luke that we see that we the song of the Mary, song the Magnificat. Anna paired with Zechariah, uh, and, uh, and uh, the women, the women, the, the women the, following the women Jesus, Jesus, and the women and the became women evangelists. Became evangelists. Those, are Those are in the gospel, in the gospel of Luke. Luke. Because he was so, concerned, he was so concerned with this marginalized, with this marginalized sector, sector of the Jewish, of the Jewish society. society. In our society, in our society also, also, we set borders, we set, borders, we set boundaries, we set, we set laws, laws, written or written oral, oral, but a lot of them are just them oral, oral laws. laws. Earlier in Earlier our church, in our church perhaps, perhaps in, in our in case our 40, case, years, 40 ago, years ago, ordained ministry, ordained ministry was only was for men. Only for men. I was, I was ordained 10 years 10 after, after finishing, after finishing all, the all the requirements for ordination, for ordination simply, simply because, because I, am, I a woman. am a woman. The bishop who ordained me to be a deacon proclaimed it right there right after my there ordination after to the diaconate that he would not he ordain would not me ordain to, priesthood to priesthood because I'm a woman. I, I fought, I, I discussed with the commission on ministry, the standing committee, who interviewed applicants or aspirants to the ordained ministry, and argued and with the ridiculous, ridiculous uh, and unimaginable and arguments. arguments. Where is love Where in is all love of these arguments or debate or discussions? Why don't Why you don't allow me to be ordained? To be ordained? And, uh, and uh, they kept on they saying, kept you know, saying, Jesus you had no Jesus woman had disciple. disciple. He sent no he woman, sent apostle, no woman apostle, apostle, among apostle among others. And I, and I, I even reminded even them, reminded them that, are you forgetting are you Joanna, Joanna Salome, Magdalene, Magdalene, and, and all the other and women the following them, them, supporting them? And they and, would respond, they would yes, respond, as supporters, yes, as supporters okay, okay, but as an, but ordained, an ordained minister, minister no, for, no a for a woman. And, and that was, that, that those that were those the, were the typical, times typical times in my, in in my, my ministry. In my I was, ministry. I, was, I almost, I almost, for, I, for, I almost I, put I it almost aside. Put it aside. 
until a until a bishop who who tried to open the eyes of others decided to open me to the or into the priesthood. Those were those were that that day opened. Open, open the open trail. The I trail. was considered as the trail blazer in the Philippines. I was the first was woman, the first woman to, be to be ordained. And after me, and after it me, was already it was easy, easy for the other women, the other women to, be to be ordained. But it took me it took 10, years 10 years to fight, to fight, to fight for, for, for my right, for my, for my, for my to, for my, uh, for, my, uh, for my ministry, for my ministry to, ad to, ad to be ordained to be ordained as part of the ordained ministry. ministry. In the Anglican, in communion, the Anglican, the Anglican communion, the wider Anglican communion, 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 a lot of provinces, lot of provinces separate, separate themselves, from, themselves the from the communion because of the because ordination of, the ordination of women. Of women. To the, to, the, to priesthood, because of ordaining gays, lesbians, and others, and others. Because, of because of the prayer, the book. prayer book, because of because blessing of the union blessing of, of same-sex same couples. couples. Oh, it, oh, it, it, may, it, it may, makes us cry that, that many provinces separated, separated themselves, themselves from the wider Anglican community because, because of this. Of Wider, wider and, uh, and, uh, and more and inclusive more ministry, ministry of, the of the church. Many provinces, many, provinces, many church many members, churches, many Anglicans could, could, not, could not open their, not eyes, and open their eyes and see and that see that is that how that the, is love the love of God works. works. The love of the God, love God does not does respect, respect borders. borders. The love of God love does, of God not, does respect not respect boundaries. boundaries. The, love the love of God does of God not does respect, not respect races, races, races or gender, or, gender or, preferences. or preferences. It is all. It is that all. is the love that of God that, love we, that we see in, in the New the Testament, New Testament reading, for reading for today. When, when we when, separate, when, when we, we hate, when hate we others, hate when we when put them, when put them push them into the margin, into the margin where, where is love? Where is, love? Where is, the, where love is the love of God? As a prophet, As a prophet God, God talks about, talks about love. love. God is God love. Is love. Love, is love, love. love is God. Where Jesus Where is, Jesus love, is God's love, love, love is there. Love is there. And, the, and the, will the will of God is for us, is for us to, love. to love. And we have and the description have the of love in 1 Corinthians 13. When we go home, we read it again. We read it again and try to put ourselves where love is mentioned. Love is kind. And we we try, we, say, we try to say, Juliet, Juliet is, kind. is kind, Clarence is Clarence kind, something, is like, something that. like that. That is that the love is of the God. Love and of if God. we and if leave we this town, there, no there is no more borders in all, all aspects aspect of our life, in our, our relationships. relationships. So we have to so see have Jesus to see more Jesus dearly and love him and more love him dearly. He will not, he will we not, should not we let, should him, not pass let him pass through our, through our means and not and being not touched. touched. We join him we join in the him mission in the of the mission church. Of the we church. join him we join in him the work of the Christ work of through, Christ the church. through the church. And we join and him, join him in, in, in participating in the five in the marks. Five of mission of, of the mission Anglican of the communion. communion and we can and read we it we we'll end it by we we'll we'll end this we'll end this message by, message by uh, reviewing uh, the five marks of, of mission of the Anglican of the communion. communion we join Jesus we join in Jesus proclaiming the goodness of the kingdom, of the kingdom. we join Jesus join in teaching baptizing and, and nurturing believers, believers. 
We join Jesus, we join Jesus in, responding in responding to human need to human by loving by service. service. We join we Jesus join in transforming and just structures, structures of society, of society. In challenging, in challenging violence, violence of every kind, every kind and, pursuing and pursuing peace and reconciliation. And, and we join Jesus in striving, in striving to safeguard the integrity, the integrity of creation, of creation and, sustaining and sustaining in renewing, in renewing the, life the life of the earth. Of the earth. Amen. Amen. Friends, let us stand in body or in spirit. Let us confess our faith, the faith of our baptism together as we say. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. On this fourth Sunday of Epiphany, as we enter the third year of the plague, we remember the words of the psalmist. Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. God the Father, guide us to all truth by your spirit that we may rejoice in all that Christ revealed and in the glory he shared with us. We remember that Jesus traveled through towns and villages and with the power of God and the Holy Spirit cured every disease and illness. In the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, may we through faith experience that healing love. Take away the fear, anxiety, and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or quarantining. Protect their families and friends and help them to find comfort and peace through faith and the love that surrounds them. Please protect all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Please be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. And may they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. God the Father, guide us to all truth by your spirit that we may rejoice in all that Christ revealed and in the glory he shared with us. And now we pray in thanksgiving for the guidance and wisdom of Archbishop John, priest in charge, Stephen, assistant priest, Reverend Clarence, Deacon Steve, Right Reverend Dixie and Reverend Juliet Taclabau. We pray for the lives and work of the clergy and people of the ecclesiastical province of British Columbia and the Yukon and all the dioceses of British Columbia, Caledonia, New Westminster, Yukon, Kootenai and Metropolitan and the territory of the people. We give thanks for and ask God's blessing be upon all who are seeking understanding of him. This week remembering the clergy and people of Holy Family Roman Catholic Church and St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. We pray for God's care and strength to be with all in our faith community and in our faith St. Bart's com- congregation. Remembering in particular this week of Odia Ryan, Randy Shepherd, and Julie Skippen. We pray especially for those who are facing particular health or spiritual challenges. Joan Carnaby, Sarah DiStefano, Margot Grant, Rita Greenlaw, Kay Jack, Jason, Willa Johnson, Robert Johnston, Marilyn McGoran, Reverend Esther North, Joan Richter, Jerry Roper, Julie Skippen, and Pat Skippen, and Margot Taylor. We pray for physical and spiritual strength for all those in care at Christensen, Totem, Greencourt, Shorncliffe, and Seashell Hospital and also for all those who provide care in those facilities. And we pray for your healing strength to be poured out upon all who are suffering from and recovering from COVID and all their caregivers. In this imperfect world, in a time when life as we know it is imperiled by the effects of climate change, disease, and unchecked greed, we place our trust in God to bring forward the highest outcome 
in perfect timing. And so we feel the blessing and joy that comes from our faith in God's guidance, and we give thanks. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your wills in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, so that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by the Holy Spirit and raise you to new lives in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God be with you. Let us pray. Living God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Collect for our community. Loving God, you fill all things with a fullness and hope that we can never comprehend. Thank you for leading us into a time where more of reality is being unveiled for us all to see. We pray that you will take away our natural temptations for cynicism, denial, fear and despair. Help us have the courage to awaken to greater truth, greater humility, and greater care for one another. May we place our hope in what matters and what lasts, trusting in your eternal presence and love. Listen to the heart's longing for the healing of our suffering world. We offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. Believing in the promises of God and gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us take a moment um, giving thanks to all the gifts that God has given us as we sing our offertory hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be.
Together let us pray. Living God, you have revealed your Son as the Messiah. May we hear his word and follow it and live as children of light. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. May the God of infinite goodness scattered the darkness of sins and brightened our hearts with holiness. May God, the undivided Trinity, give you courage to see Christ in all who suffer, to be hands to the helpless, food for the hungry, and rescue for the oppressed. Our recessional hymn is The Church of Christ in Every Age. Hymn number 584 for those of you who want to sing along with the hymn book. Oh, mm -hmm. 
My friends, go in peace. Amen. We go in the name of Christ. May Christ who sent us to the nations give us the power of the Spirit. Amen. Thank you. We will conclude the recording of the service here.